Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, it is another rainy, gloomy day out here on Come On Mountain. <sighs> I am done with the rain, guys. I am truly done with the rain. It is causing all kinds of issues for me. What I'm doing right now in the building requires dry time. Well, with this type of weather, <laughs> things don't dry and uh everything that should only take a day to dry is taking two days to dry i actually did some more stuff out there yesterday with some thin set and uh sealing some seams and all that other stuff and was hoping it would be dry this morning and also the dry pack there on the shower and the dry pack's been down for two days now and it's still not completely cured and the thin set is still a little soft this morning as well. So it's definitely uh, slowing down my progress a little bit. And it's supposed to rain all day again today, so it's not going to get any better. So I'm going to have to figure something out. Uh, I might end up looking into going ahead and buying the heater for in there. That way I can kind of set it up and uh, heat it up in there and see if that will help the dry time a little bit. I got ratter at my feet this morning. What are you doing? You want to say hi? Oh, say hi. And of course, old Jealous. Old Jealous thought there was some attention that uh, she wasn't getting. It's actually sprinkling on me now. Wasn't raining when I came out here and started recording, but now it is. We're going to take a walk though this morning. We're going to go to an area that a lot of y'all have been asking to see that I haven't been on this side of the property in quite some time because during the spring it is so wooded back here that I didn't really want to come down here and I didn't have snake boots but now I got snake boots and of course while I'm doing this it's starting to rain harder and harder and harder let me show you this right here is the creek that runs behind the cabin if you look up there there's the cabin you can see the roof and with all this rain i am shocked that this isn't actually flowing it probably will today while it's raining and then it dries up pretty fast uh, but i haven't been down here in quite some time so i figured i would come check it out uh, looks like a tree done fell. Where are you going? Where are you going? Meow, nothing. You climbing trees? Meow. What are you doing, Ryder? Are you having fun? Oh, yeah? You've never been to this side of the property, have you? Uh, looks like a tree fell. Two trees, actually. Now, a lot of people have been asking about the pond that you see in my intro. And when I originally bought this place, I thought the pond was on my property. It's not, unfortunately. My property line literally runs right beside it. And I didn't know that when I bought the place. I guess that's my fault. I should have did a little more research. But it's not. It's actually my neighbors that owns the property beside me, which is a really nice guy. Um, I've talked to him several times. And a uh, real nice guy, but it is a nice pond. I will be doing a pond over there in the Airbnb section here very, 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 very soon. Well, I wouldn't say very soon. I would say within two years. Um, whenever I start on that side of the property... I will actually be digging a pond over there as well. I plan on using that dirt from the pond for some other projects. But that's further down the road. We got a lot to do here. Are you sitting like a pretty girl waiting on some attention? Are you sitting like a pretty girl waiting on some attention? But the pond is still here. It is a little bit lower. To show you how close it is, I'm actually on my property line right now. And it's literally right there. 
which I ain't mad at because it is so close to my property that I still get the view of it. Um, it's just not mine. So I've had a lot of people ask me over this past year about the pond. Oh God, this is some, whew, we are back, backwoods trekking today. But I've had a lot of people ask about the pond and uh, that is why I don't go to the pond because it's not mine. Um, when I first came out here and started making videos out here, I put the pond in the videos a couple of times. That was before I knew it wasn't mine. And uh, yeah, I should have did a little bit more research on that. But that wasn't really that big of a deal to me, like I said, because I still get to see the pond. And for me, I mean, that's a big thing is to have that view. He did a great job on it. I believe Eclipse goes down to the pond though. Sometimes she runs down this way and ends up uh, coming back soaking wet. So I think she has found the pond. But I do like it. It's a good size. It is about the size that I plan on doing over there on the other side of the property. But I think they did a good job with it. It's definitely got some high embankments for sure. I'll show you. Walk on through here. Uh, when I found out that the pond wasn't actually on my property is when I did that video a long time ago, kind of walking around um, finding the property lines with that uh, X hunt app that I had. And uh, that's whenever I noticed that it was close on my property, but it wasn't quite on the property. Uh, uh, I haven't been back here in a while, guys. Uh. Ooh, we're getting close to the front ah, of my property. There are so many briars, guys. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Y'all got me working today. What are you doing? What are you smelling? Uh, my gate is actually right over there. Uh, I love it out here, guys. It is nice. Y'all can see the rain, I'm sure. Yeah. But I believe... See, it's crazy. It's like some of this mound right here for the lake is actually right there on the property line. I can't turn the app on right now to see exactly where I'm at. But I do believe that that pole up there is the marker if I'm not mistaken which means that it is literally right there I might be wrong um, I'll have to after I get done with this video I have to open up my app and uh, make sure if I am wrong I'll correct it in a later video but it's definitely nice. Y'all been wanting to know about it and ask about it. And I've had a million people ask me questions about it in the comments and stuff. And I don't think I've ever commented on it. Uh, so I figured this morning's a good morning until it started raining on me to take a walk down here on this side because I do have some plans to do some clearing down here. Um, this winter while the leaves and stuff are off and it's a little bit clear this whole section right here i plan on see if you look right there that's the cabin that's how close it is and that right there is the white temporary canopy where the generator's at 
So it's very, very close. But this whole downhill section right here, I plan on clearing a lot of the undergrowth. I'm gonna leave all the big trees because that's going to, I wouldn't say all the big trees, but some of the nice healthy big trees I'm gonna leave and then fence this whole area in and this would be where like the goats and the smaller uh, farm animals are as down here that way when I'm at you see the cabin right there and I'm looking down the hill I can actually see all the animals so I think that'd be pretty cool uh, so this summer I'm gonna start working on it oh my god these briars are killing me uh, ow 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 look at that uh, yeah, I'm getting cut up. Yeah, cabin better there. Bam, there's the cabin up on the hill right there. Right there is where I've already cleared when I was clearing for the Starlink. So I just want to kind of come in here and get all this underbrush out of here. I'll probably fence it in, honestly. And uh, a lot of it I'll just let the goats take care of. But some of the taller stuff they're not going to be able to reach. So I'm going to need to be able to get rid of it. But like trees like this, I'll keep. But little smaller stuff like this, I will get rid of. I can't believe how dry this creek is with all the rain that we've been getting. That is crazy. But a little perspective. Cabin. Lake cabin pond <laughs> i know i called it a lake it's definitely not a lake yeah but it's cool uh, so i hope that clears up some things about the pond and also explain to why i don't go down there much because it's not mine to go down there too which means that i can't stock it and do all of that kind of stuff so i do believe there is fish in there when i first bought the property and walk down there and looked at it i could see where people fished and stuff there were some lines and stuff hanging in trees and stuff like that and according to my other neighbor down there um there's some good sized fish in there um i haven't talked to him yeah just sit there and take a poop right beside my feet go ahead it's fine i don't mind just go ahead that's disgusting she literally sat right beside me and just pooped Oh, these kids but uh my neighbors did tell me there's some good fishing and stuff in there uh, i was gonna go up the hill there but it doesn't look like i can not why i'm filming oh man the briars are ridiculous ridiculous we're just gonna walk up the street it'll be easier Give you a little perspective of where we're at. Right there's the creek behind the cabin that you see that sometimes is flooding across the street. <sighs> ah, yeah, there we go. Now we're back on the road. What are you looking for, Eclipse? You better be careful sticking your head in holes. You never know what's in there sleeping. <laughs> an old rider still bushwhacking with me rider rider don't just meow come here rider come here come here come on rider thinks that he's a dog <laughs> you think you're a dog huh you think you're a dog huh you think you're a puppy? <sighs> it is gorgeous out here, but minus the rain. It's not too cold. It's probably in the 60s. I like it. <sighs> oh, man. But we got a lot going on today. Means that it's raining. I'm going to clean up inside the cabin some. Because tonight, Margarita's coming, 
and we're going to be decorating and making a video for you guys of decorating the cabin for Christmas. I'm going to try to get the lights up and also all the ornaments and stuff on the tree and make Come On Mountain a little bit more festive around here. I got some outdoor lights. I got uh, two little projectors for the side of the cabin. Whew, this hill's steep this morning, getting me winded. But uh, gonna put all of that up and then we're gonna decorate the tree. So looking forward to it. We don't have to cook dinner tonight because Margarita already made some meatloaf uh, the other day that she's bringing. So that'll save us some time. Come on, Ryder. Come on. Your sister up the hill being crazy. <sighs> yeah, man. Digging through all those briars got me a little winded. Got me a little winded. This cold weather don't help either. So yeah, that's the plan for tonight. Um, that video will probably be tomorrow's video on here. More than likely if I can get it all done. There will be a video coming out today on Come On Homestead on the building there. It's a good one. I think it turned out real good. And there is a special ending to this video that I know for a fact that you guys are going to love. So definitely do not miss this video. It'll probably be coming out, I would think, probably today around 2 o'clock, 3 at the latest. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely, a, it's definitely a very, very, very cool little ending to that video. I think that y'all are really going to get a kick out of it. And uh, it's got a little bit to do with these guys right here and all of their craziness. And then also, guys... I looked this morning and we are 250 away from hitting my goal for this year for this channel of 10,000 subscribers. I want to thank y'all so much. We are this close, guys. And if you have not subscribed yet, make sure that you take a second. I'll wait and go subscribe. If you're watching on your TV, a lot of times you can hit your arrow up button and it'll show all the details of the video and you can go to the channel and subscribe there with your remote control. I know a lot of people watch on their TV and don't know that you can actually subscribe using your TV remote, but you can. And if not, then just grab your phone or your computer and go to Come On Keeping It Real and subscribe. And while you're on there, go ahead and hit Come On Homestead and then subscribe to that one because we are only about 2,000 away from hitting my goal there of 30,000. We are right there at 28,000 right now. I think we're 50 away from 28,000 on there as well. But you guys are amazing. I appreciate y'all so much. And I hope y'all enjoy this little vlogmas walk around the pond and that side of the property. I hope that uh, this video clarifies a little bit about the pond. Um, it's been a while um, since I've uh, addressed the pond and stuff. Like I said, it was at the beginning, I think, is when I first put it on there. And that's whenever I thought it was still on my property until after I bought the place. When I did my first initial walk around, I did not know. And my real estate agent uh, did not know at the time either. But it was right beside my cabin, so I figured it was, but it wasn't. So... It's unfortunate, but it's okay because I still get to enjoy its beauty. And at the end of the day, that's uh, one of the main things to me. And like I said, I'll be digging my own over there. But here recently, since I'd made that new uh, intro on Come On Homestead that I've been using for the last two weeks, it has the pond in it. So a lot of people have been asking questions about the pond and wanting to see the pond ever since i've made that intro so that's why i wanted to go ahead and make this video and clear that up um yeah so that intro video is what kind of spurred this video and all the questions that i was getting about the pond so i hope that clears everything up this is uh what is this is this six 
six or seven on the vlogmas uh i think it's seven i think today is the seventh so i think this is the seventh vlogmas 2022 i hope y'all enjoyed it i hope y'all enjoyed walking around a different side of the property uh, i have it like i said it's so thick there y'all seeing how thick it is with no leaves and stuff over there briars cutting me and stuff like that that's why i don't really go down there much um until i get it cleared out which like i said i do plan on doing this winter some at least getting some of that underbrush and at least clearing some fence lines and stuff because i will be fencing it off but i think me and the kiddos are gonna get out here and get this yard clean from the windstorm and get all this scrap wood and stuff from the building project cleaned up today in between rains and also clean inside the cabin and get ready to decorate the cabin tonight with margarita <sighs> why I wait on everything to dry so I can move on to the next step inside the building which hopefully will be tomorrow but I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope y'all have a very very productive hump day and a good positive day do something nice for people guys it is the holiday season share your love share your joy and until we see each other again guys hey come on keep it real <laughs>